Hi, I'm Niklas Bauer. And I'm Niklas Almeyer. You're watching Flight TV, and today we're doing this. Hi and welcome back to Flight TV. I'm Niklas Bauer and this is my good friend and colleague Niklas Holmir. He's also the inventor of the system that he's gonna fish today, the Dub Daddy system. Today we are going to show you how cool fishing you can have together with flies and also this new Dub Daddy system that you can fish flies with spinning gear. So now all you spinner guys can steal our flies and catch big fish. Follow us on a cool day. Ride a pickup truck to the county line And the beer in the back, Colt 45 Four wheel drive, raise it up to the sky Cause the bigger the truck, the sweeter the ride Hey, hey, you can take him away Because I don't much care for a city boy I like blue jeans in a gym So the area we're fishing at the moment is um, we have a spawning cove behind us and these are really rocky parts here you can see the big stones and also a lot of stone structure here all these black pockets here uh, create heat and a little bit slightly warm water so the fish before spawning and also after spawning they kind of tendency to, to lay in these pockets and also out on the ledge here where the water is a little bit deeper and these places are really, really good to fish before spawning and also after spawning. So it's a cool place. That fish came just from the side, Nicholas. It just, I don't know what happened there. But... You need some help? No, I'm fine. But we're fishing, um, or actually we're supposed to fish uh, post-spawn fish. But this little girl hasn't spawned yet. Took that articulated bream like there <laughs> were no tomorrow actually. Maybe we have to reconsider this post-spawn pike fishing. <laughs> yeah, maybe. We're searching for post-spawn fish. This girl was uh, probably a little bit late for the party here. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's catch a big one now. Well done, Niklas. Thanks, Niklas. <laughs> I like to fish in a dub daddy with a small twitch and a stop and almost always the pike attack when you stop it. <laughs> a really crashing bait. We are seeing some pike attack small bait fish in here and I have switched to a much smaller fly and let's see what's happened. Yes, yes, it's on, it's on. But Was that the second cast after switching to a smaller fly? Yeah. yeah. Pike has been crashing small minnows here and uh, all over the place and we've been fishing big flies. They haven't been looking at them at all, so but at least it worked downsizing. Yes. And here you can see the fly with the rubber ball in front. And if I lose that, I have a, a small cone. After that comes the fly. And after that, the dub. It seems to work. Yeah. That's a big one. Ah. Nice, Nicky. Mm. 
small guy. It's nice with these single hooks. They don't really disturb the fish too much, but they hook them really well. Bye bye. Good job, man. Get a big one. Huh? Thanks. So we're looking for uh, concentrations of bream here. As you can see now, we have uh, a lot of weeds here. This is a big concentration of weed here. You can actually see almost the branches. So what we're looking for now is um, schools of bream and also perch. So it's early June and uh, the pike spawned here a month ago at least. And uh, now they're starting to feed on the bream and perch that are coming into these shallow coves to spawn. This time of the year can be a really a good time to fish. Like we're fishing these weed banks here and get these awesome takes in the surface. This really shallow cove here where the fish has been spawning and um, I'm fishing a slow-mo line but I'm also fishing an articulated fly and usually when you're fishing in really shallow waters with these articulated flies it's that these two hooks makes the fly go a little bit too deep so what I've done is I've uh, put two foam heads here these are uh, Rainey's uh, Mini Mies popper heads and I put one on each hook uh, what they do is they create much more lifting, so the fly is not going as deep as normal and also they um, uh, make the fly have a much more tube-like action in the water. They don't dive down as fast as they normally do. And as you can see it's been working pretty well. It's a first try. so.
It's a nice fish, Niklas. Yeah, we just had a pike coming up and hitting a smaller pike. So I put the biggest pike imitation I had in my box. <laughs> it's one skinny guy, but long. It's one of these fish that we call, they're on their way to pike heaven. It's probably closer to a meter or something like that. But it's really old and in really bad condition. Really skinny fish. Bye-bye. This is an articulated one with extra everything. It's a rattle and also it's got, this is a really important feature. It's got skulls on it. But that was a better fish at least. Seems like uh, that could be the trick. Bigger flies, bigger fish. If they're feeding on the small ones, then they, these big flies might just be the trick for catching the bigger ones. Yeah. It looked a little bit bigger. It was huge. Maybe. Maybe. Nice. Ah, it's a, ah, it's yes. It's it's bigger fish. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Oh. And there he's gone. And now it's gone. That's what we call a long line release. <laughs> Perfect. We didn't have to unhook it. Good job. Small but angry. Look, he was going for the skulls. <laughs> See, it's right on the skulls. All right, Nicholas. We're standing right in the bait fish. Yeah. Oh, he's blind on one eye. He's blind. Yeah. Yeah. That's why he took that fly because I tied that fly. <laughs> <laughs> That's one skinny one. He's, yes, he's, look, he's, he's blind on that eye. Yeah. This one. Totally white. I mean, wiggle tail is so cool. We get it with that brown fly. Bye bye. <laughs> how do you hold this? Like this or like that? Or? Nicholas, how do you hold it? Like this or like <laughs> <laughs> If you want to um, learn a little bit more about how you rig the Dub Daddy and also uh, some different variations you can play around with, click on the video up here in the left corner and you get some more info. It's a double. Double hookup. It's really cool. You can fish, fish the same flies with a fly rod or with a spinning rod. Of course, this is with a fly rod. See, much bigger on fly rod. <laughs> Not always. <laughs> well, it's not my fault, so it's my bike. <laughs> Catch a big one now. So it's kind of time to wrap it up. We had an awesome day. A lot of contacts, a lot of fish lost. Oh, I have a big one follower. Oh, come on, take it, come on. Ah. Well, that's kind of the story today. That fish didn't want to take, but thanks guys for watching. And uh, until next time, tight lines. <laughs>